But what I wanted to do today is I didn't want to do a tutorial. Um, I wanted to do favorite beauty products of 2015 since the new year just passed and there were a lot of things in 2015 that I started to use in beauty and I really started to get into beauty in 2015 so I just thought that I would film a favorites video and show you all of the stuff that I loved and you guys can decide whether or not you feel that you need it in your beauty products and yeah so let's get started first I'm going to start with uh my face the thing that I really fell in love with this last year was my nightly moisturizer this is by La Fresh Eco Beauty it is called Good Night and it's a natural anti-aging night cream and I just love this I use this every night after I wash my face and it just helps with fine lines, wrinkles, and just really makes your skin so much smoother looking. I don't use an eye cream around my uh, crow's feet or anything like that. I just use this and since I've been using this probably like at least six months now, I have noticed, noticed a huge difference around my eyes and just my forehead and all of the areas that you have um, expression wrinkles this has definitely decreased them for me so I love this this is my new favorite night cream I actually bought two bottles of it um, on their website and just so that I can have backup so I don't even have to wait to get it when because um, you have to order it online it's on their website La Fresh. so the other thing that I absolutely really love is the daily skin cleaner that I've been using this is actually a drugstore product. You can find it at Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, any of those places. But it is by the brand CeraVe and it's the hydrating cleanser. I don't have, I guess I have combination to dry skin. I don't have oily skin at all. I can't say I have oily skin at all. Um, so this is just a really hydrating cleanser. They have a, I think it's just a foaming cleanser that you can get for those who are more on the oily side, but for people who are combination normal skin and dry, this is really good. So this is just a daily cleanser. It says uh, it's non-drying, it has ceramides in it and hydrochloronic acid, which actually helps fight um, bacteria and acne, so that's a really good ingredient. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a creamy cleanser. It doesn't lather. So anyways, I really like this. It's been helping my skin a lot. I've had a lot less breakouts. My skin's been a lot less dry. Um, I've had a lot less problem areas using this product. But I have a very extensive skin routine. So I really established a skin routine this last year that I'm really kind of following religiously now and I really believe in. And that includes another facial washer that I use, face, facial cleanser that I use twice a week by Mario Badescu. It's the Glyconic Foaming Cleanser. This does come to a lather. This has uh, glycolic acid in it, which is an exfoliator, a chemical exfoliator. And so I use this every Tuesday and Thursday on my skin, only twice a week because this can be very drying and this can be very harsh. This is to exfoliate your skin, get all of the dead skin off of the surface and um, allow fresh skin to um, come through. And I actually use this with the next favorite product I'm gonna talk about is this um, Pro X by Olay. This is a brush, it's electronic brush and I use this, I wet the brush and use this with the foaming cleanser and scrub my face um, twice a week and it really, really helps with uh, exfoliation. So that's what I use. So that is basically all the skin products this year that I have absolutely just loved and like really helped my skin routine. So. That's it for skincare. Now I'm going to move on to primers because that's the next step that would happen in your makeup routine. You would wash, you would moisturize, then you would use a primer underneath your foundation. The two primers that I've sworn by this last year is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. You can see this is just a travel size, but it's pretty much gone. I'm squeezing the bottom of the tube right now. 
and I like that because it smooths out all of your pores. Same thing with this. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I have been loving this as well because it just fills your pores, smooths out your skin, and leaves a really nice canvas for your foundation to go on top of. This is drugstore. This is high-end. This is very expensive. The full-size bottle of this, I want to say, is... $32, $34, something like that. This is like $10. So up to you as to which one you would buy, but um, I really like the Maybelline. Next, I'm going to go with my just ride or die foundations that I wear all the time. I don't even, I'm nervous to try many other foundations just because I've had experiences where I can't find other foundations that I love that much. These foundations are like absolute best that I have found and I've tried quite a few over the last year. I'm still giving others a chance and I always like to try new things but these I wear every day. I wear these foundations. Urban Decay Naked Skin is the first one. This is high end. I absolutely, this is like empty. I need to replace it but Ugh, I can't even tell you how good this foundation is. It makes your skin look so natural. It doesn't even look like you're wearing foundation, but it looks like your skin is the best skin ever. It just makes everything look so smooth. Everything looks so natural. It doesn't cake up. It's not drying. You can't even tell it's there. And it's only supposed to have, I think, um, sheer to medium coverage, but this can be medium to full coverage. You can build this up. If you put two layers of this on, you're fully covered. It's great. Um, it's a very like thin consistency because like I said, it's supposed to be more uh, sheer coverage, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. I use a actual, I use, I prefer in just a brush with this, a kabuki brush over a beauty blender because a beauty blender will make it sheer out a lot but the kabuki brush definitely gives it a little bit more coverage. So I love this. I wear this all the time. I wear this for special occasions. I wear this to work all the time. When I wear foundation to work, I wear this to work. I wear this all the time. I love it. Okay, so that's high end. The next one I'm going to give you is a drugstore because I always like to <clears throat> do drugstore and high end stuff. like. A lot of this stuff is, actually I have to say, a lot. I have a lot more drugstore than I do high-end in this video, which is good. Most of this stuff is very, very affordable. So the next foundation that I'm going to talk about is by Maybelline. It is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and uh, you can get this at any drugstore, like I said. It's for normal to oily skin, the matte and poreless, but considering I'm not oily at all and I'm more normal to dry, I don't find that this mattifies my skin to the point where it cakes up and you can see all of flakiness or the dry patches or anything like that on my skin. I don't feel like that does this even though it's a matte foundation. So that's why I'm recommending it and why I like it so much because even though like right now it's winter time and I am more on the dry side, I still wear this. I wear this and I have no issues. I don't, it doesn't build, build up around my dry patches at all. So I really like this. This is um, really full coverage. It covers amazingly. It makes your skin look flawless. It's um, super blendable. I like it with a brush again. I'm more of a brush person over a, a beauty blender or a sponge, but you can do either one with this. And I just like it. It also just blends really well and looks really natural on the skin. So I alternate between these two all the time. I reach for, I mean, I have a lot of foundations in my collection at this point, and these are the two that I constantly reach for. So love those. Um, I only have one concealer to recommend because literally this is what I use all the time and I um, am just obsessed with it. <laughs> it is super creamy, um, super light, very full coverage and very moisturizing and I use this under my under eye and even on breakouts or anything all the time. It's the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. 
I use the color light neutral. Um, I'm neutral skin tone, so I use um, neutral um, for an undertone for all of my foundation products and concealer products. So I love this. It is says that it's weightless. It's complete coverage concealer, and it really does what it says. So that is my favorite concealer. I use this all the time. I don't even explore a lot of other concealers at this point because this is my holy grail. So next, I am going to go with just um, Full Face Powder. I love True Match by L'Oreal. Um, super blendable powder. This is what I use to, to set all of my foundation and everything. And even my concealer, I use this a lot unless I'm really looking for a brightening under eye uh, translucent powder, but most of the time it's just this on a day-to-day -day basis because I don't need to highlight underneath my eyes and brighten all the time when I'm going to work. So I use this. I love this. This is, oh, it's just very like, it doesn't powder everywhere. Like it doesn't come up off the pan. Like a lot of powders just like you rub your brush in there and it's just all over the place. This doesn't do that. It's very buttery. It's very soft. It's very finely meal, milled, rather, not milled, milled. Um, and I feel like when you put it on your face, it doesn't end up looking like you have a bunch of powder on your face. Some powders are so powdery that it looks like you put a bunch of powder on your face, it cakes up, you can see it. You can't see this. This is so blendable, so natural. I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going to go to bronzer. My bronzer, I use this every day. I don't use anything else. I'm not really into a bunch of high-end bronzers. I haven't really gone that route yet um, because I'm addicted to this bronzer and I love it so much. This is Rimmel. It's so worn out that you can't even see the name of it, but let's see what it's called. It's Rimmel's Natural Waterproof bronzing powder in the color sunshine, which is the lightest shade because I'm fair skinned and pale, especially in winter time. And then I have their other shade for when I'm darker in the summer. I love this bronzer. So this is a lid that comes up. It's very warm, um, not very ashy at all. It's a very warm bronzer, but I don't find it orange at all. It's got a little bit of sheen to it or shimmer, but it doesn't look like glitter, which I don't like glitter anything on my face. So this is very nice because it gives a little sheen to your skin and looks like you have just been touched by the sun. I love this bronzer. It looks so natural. I don't even think people realize that I wear bronzer every single day. I have bronzer on today. I wear a bronzer every day. I don't think people realize that I wear bronzer because I wear this and it's so natural looking. So, next I'm going to move to, we'll start with eyebrows when we are talking about the eyes. I, this is it for me. There's nothing else to tell you as far as eyebrow products go, as far as uh, defining my brows, penciling in my brows, filling in my brows, whatever you want to say. This is it. It's NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Love it. It goes on so easily. It's great. It makes your brows look natural but really well defined. I use this every day of my life. I love this. I don't think I'll be changing to something different anytime soon. Then I seal my brows because my brows need to be locked in place with the NYX brow mascara. So I use this over my brows to seal them in place so they don't bunch throughout the day. It's just called their Tinted Brow Mascara. So that is how I do my brows every day. Love, love, love it. So, talking about eyes, speaking of eyeshadows, I have really started to invest in a lot of palettes and eyeshadows that are just really good quality that are going to last me for a really long time. Eyeshadows are something that you can have in your makeup collection for years. It's not something that needs to be thrown out very often. So with that said, I have been investing in higher quality shadows, but that are still reasonably priced because uh, let's be serious, I'm not rich. So I have been obsessed with this year Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, 
I think everybody and their brother knows who Makeup Geek is, but some people who are not in the beauty community may not know. So Makeup Geek is a company made by a woman who is a makeup artist who used to work at MAC and she was tired. Uh, MAC has some of the best eyeshadows um, in the industry, but they're very expensive. So she just got fed up with the prices of MAC eyeshadows and thought, wow, I think I can make makeup that is more affordable but just as good a quality. And actually, her eyeshadows, many say, and I think so too, are better than MAC. I love her eyeshadows. And they're literally only like $5 a piece. So they're super affordable. But you have to order them online. She doesn't have a store. Um, but you just go to the Makeup Geeks website and order them. And she has every color that you can think of. Um, she has matte. She has shimmer. She has foiled. But anyways, I'm just going to say in general that I love her eyeshadows. This is the um, amount that I have so far in my collection. I... I'm expanding this but these are all matte eyeshadows and then these down here are foil and the foil are amazing they're so creamy they're so buttery they have so much pigment so much color your eyes look gorgeous and I wear the foiled eyeshadows for special occasions all the time including my own wedding and I love these eyeshadows these are the best I haven't found anything that I like more and I wear her eyeshadows on a regular basis all the time because she's got such neutral colors you can choose from. Like I said, she has every color you could think of to choose from, but I am a neutral girl and warm girl, so I have a lot of browns over here, which is what I wear on a regular basis. So, Makeup Geek favorite. Then, I think we'll talk about eyeliner. It's really quick. I have one that I love that I wear all the time. Um, because I tight line a lot and waterline. I do not do winged liner. I'm not good at it. I'm not a fan of it. And I don't go anywhere where I can pull off a wing and feel like I'm not completely inappropriate. So, I use NYX's, this is French, so please forgive me, Trey Jolie Gel Liner. They have brown, they have black. I love this. This is what I use. It doesn't budge. It doesn't smudge at all. Um, it's waterproof, and you can put it in your waterline without having mascara all the way down your face by the end of the day. So, love this favorite eyeliner. Favorite mascara that I wear every day is L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara. I wear it in Black is Black. Um, they have Carbon Black as well, which I don't have, but I love this. It makes your uh, lashes look very, very full, uh, very long. It doesn't clump. I... It's really black, it's really pigmented, it doesn't uh, get everywhere. Some mascaras transfer a lot, this doesn't transfer. I love this mascara. Let's see. Oh, I forgot one cheek product that I absolutely love. After bronzer. Ooh, two. Oh my goodness. So, going back to the face. Backtracking. Go back, go back, go back. Um, my everyday blush that I wear all the time that I got at Target is the Sonia Keshek Pink Rose Blush. I wear this all the time. I wear this every day. It's really creamy, really soft. It's really pigmented. It stays on my cheeks all day. I wear this all the time. It's my favorite. It's a very neutral pink color that can go with all looks and that's why I like it because it can go with anything. It doesn't matter what eye you're wearing, what lip you're wearing, this will go with everything. I just think that it's like a staple in everyone's collection. Any sort of pinky rose neutral color I think everyone should have in their collection because it pretty much goes on any skin tone and will go with any makeup look that you're doing. So that's my favorite blush. Favorite highlighter is I don't think is a surprise if you know me or if I've talked about this before, is Becca's Champagne Pop by, by Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill is one of my favorite beauty gurus. I will buy anything that she makes or creates or collaborates with because she's amazing. And Becca collaborated with her this last year and made a highlighter with her called Champagne Pop. And Let's just focus the camera and show you what this looks like. 
It's beautiful. So it's like this peachy, gold, apricot -y, shimmery highlighter. And although I wore it more in the summertime because I was more bronzed and I had a little more uh, color to my skin, it still looks good, even on fair skin. I still wear it. Like, I don't care. It's winter time, I should be wearing a different highlighter. <laughs> I wear this all the time. I love this highlighter. Let's talk about lips and a setting spray. Lips are really easy. The color that I wore all the time this year, and I've been wearing for years actually, but I just wore it more often this year, I have to say, is um, this lipstick by CoverGirl. It's part of their CoverGirl Color Sensational line, and it's called Honey. And it's just a really, it's a pink nude. There's nothing more to say about it. Like, it's very, I don't know if you can see, the camera can pick up. But it's just like a really pinky nude, which is my favorite kind of nude. Um, it doesn't make my, you know how you can look dead if you wear too nude of lip color? Well, that doesn't do that. It doesn't make you look like you, your lips are the same color as your skin, because that's not a good look. So, I just love it because it's more pinky nude and it can go with everything. It can be wear, worn with any makeup look, and I have worn it with a lot of makeup looks. Then my gloss that I love to go on a lot of lips, not just that lipstick, but any neutral uh, lip that I'm wearing or nude lip that I'm wearing, this is the gloss that I wear. I love this gloss. This, first of all, like I just love the packaging. It's NARS. It's expensive. I'm not going to lie. I invested in this because Coffee Break with Danny is another beauty guru I follow and she is going on and on about this lip color which is called Chelsea Girls or Chelsea, is it Chelsea Girls? or Ch Yeah, Chelsea Girls. Chelsea Girls. It's like a pink nude color that can go on everything. It really matches that lipstick really well. And so I went out and bought it. And it's probably like a $20 lip gloss. It's not cheap. But <clears throat> I can go on any nude loop any nude loop, any nude lip, and it's not sticky. I hate sticky lip glosses, so it's not really sticky, and uh, just, I really hate, but it's shiny, but it's not too shiny either. I hate super, 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 super shiny lip glosses that are sticky. I hate sticky lip glosses. I don't know if anyone likes sticky lip glosses, but if it's sticky and when you put your lips together, you feel like they're getting stuck. Ooh, that's just, I hate that. This doesn't do that, and a lot of lip glosses do. A lot, a lot of lip glosses do that. And this is not that type of formula, so that's one of the reasons I really, really like it. Then lastly, but in this long video of everything that I've shown you, is the last thing that you would do in your makeup routine is set your makeup so that your makeup stays on all day long. I don't think a lot of people realize this. I didn't realize this. A primer and this are your two best friends. If you want your makeup to not move, not budge off your face, not smear throughout the day, this and this are two things that you need in your routine. So, this is a setting spray by Urban Decay. It's called All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's long lasting. It literally makes your makeup last all night long. I think I said this in another video, but I wore this on my wedding day because a friend, a really good friend of mine had this and she gave it to me. And I had never tried it before and I wore it that night and my makeup didn't budge on my wedding day at all. I mean, I used this primer and this setting spray. And I used, um, a drugstore foundation and I didn't do anything else but this and this and that would be any different and it stayed on. I sweated, I danced, I did everything but my makeup did not budge. When I walked into my room at the end of the night to remove my makeup, my makeup was exactly like it was pretty much when I started my day and it was like a 12 hour day. So yes, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love this. I don't use anything else really. I will keep repurchasing this. So, those are all of my favorites for 
the year of 2015. It was a really good year for me. I can't complain. A lot of good things happened to me. Um, I got to travel a lot in 2015. I got to, got to experience things that I had never experienced before. And I moved, which I love where I live right now. And I got married. So it will forever be one of my favorite years because I got to get married and it was one of the best days of my life, so how could it not be one of the best years of my life? So, um, I hope your 2015 was good, and if it wasn't, 2016 is a new year, and hopefully it will be a better year, and I'm really excited, and I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe, I'm really trying to grow my channel, and now that I have my new camera, I feel like I can really start to do things, um, more on my channel and really um, go in a direction that I'll be really happy with. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon.